Hey everyone, Eggman here with another video. Today I've got a uh, Chile in Limo deck that I've been tinkering with the last couple days. I also had this, uh, I had a stream with this, so if you're interested in seeing this deck in action, uh, it, I'll have the link in the description below and maybe like the little eye thingy, I don't know how that works all the time, but maybe I'll have that, maybe maybe we'll go the extra minute, but uh, yeah, this is, this is a deck that I've been uh, brewing and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's it kind of started with the idea of like, oh, Kind Wish can get out this Broly, which is a four drop Broly BR. Uh, it's not, it wasn't color restricted, and so I kind of wanted to build a deck behind that kind of mechanic, and it came out, came together pretty well, if I do say so myself. It's been, it's been a lot of fun to play, and then uh, I haven't really made a Chile and Limo deck, and the fact that uh, this Oob's coming out this, the end of this, or what, next month, April, we're on the cusp of it. But uh, yeah, that's also really powerful, and I really, I, I thought it, it just all came together. So let's let's just jump into it. So the, the Chile and Limo uh, leader, uh, so it's got a couple things f uh, permanent. Um, you can't add cards from your life to your uh, hand during your turn, except for this card's skill, so you can't do any self-awakened stuff, which is good if you do like the traditional one-drop chain, but... Um, the also it's an activating once per turn. Choose up to one Dragon Ball from your deck or life. Add it to your hand and then shuffle your uh, areas you look through. Um, that's only getting one is kind of weak. It can be really slow for you to awaken, which is why this Oob is so important. But um, yeah, we it, we don't have any as many issues about awakening with this uh, with this leader. But uh, then also uh, wish when there are seven Dragon Balls in your drop area. Choose up to one Broly BR card from your drop area. Add it to your hand this card over it doesn't it's also not color restrictive so you can get any of these brolies so if you have like the four drop broly or any of these uh, i would recommend comboing with them early and then just you get them back when you wish and awaken right so uh there's some you know good plus ones there and being able to make sure that you know you get your combo pieces when you need it so that's good and then so the awakened side permanent you still can't hit your own life but uh you can either draw one activate a black or yellow desire or the uh the seven dragon ball uh one is that uh you pick up two up to two freezes army with cost of two or less uh, they're specifically green freezes army with cost two or less from your deck and put them in play so uh what is a really good idea like if you if you haven't have enough of these limos those are really good to be put in play or these chiles you can even get the super combo which is great uh we got lots of targets for that and um Let's just jump into it. So we'll, we'll talk about the Oob first. Um, all the all the power booster cards except for the black one uh, help uh, non non black Shenron decks. Uh, most of the issues with those guys are uh, they don't really awaken fast enough. Um, besides, the only other one is like Dende. Dende has seen a little bit of success, but he also searches too, uh, which is really good. Being able to just you know get the you know get as many balls as you can as fast as you can is the main idea for this. So. Uh, for Oob, um, when you play the combo with this card, if your leader card is a green Shenron, choose up to three Dragon Ball cards from your deck, place them in your drop area, then shuffle your deck. If you place cards in your drop area, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of one and KO it. Uh, this card is awesome. It's probably the best one from the power booster, but um, uh, being able to just activate its effect when you combo with it is great. Uh, being able to just blow up you know, a one drop is great. Um, it's a little bit restrictive, but like... The, when you come with this card anyways you, it's it's pretty early in the game so the you know chances that i have one drops and uh especially against like the kid goku stuff right but uh and the little tip for this you don't always want to do three if you have like three left in deck and it's your opponent's turn you can come with oob with uh and put two balls in there and then also um and then on your turn you just grab one ball for free with your leader effect and then you can play it and then activate it and then keep going you just a, just a way to get a little bit more card advantage there but um very very good card um it made me think about running some uh, alternative balls like uh, one star ball was the first consideration uh, just because you're able to um if you if you're playing against a matchup where you don't have enough time to actually activate those cards you can just use um oob to get it out of your deck uh, the only unfortunate thing is that um, this leader is really bad if you have like more than more than one Dragon Ball in your life. Um, two's okay, three's just you you pretty much lost. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's really it's really tough to come back with three in your life just because you have to ping them once at a time with your leader effect. Oob doesn't affect the life; he only affects the deck, and it can be it can be kind of painful. But other than that. Uh, I think I think this is a really solid awakening engine and can be pretty consistent on either like turn two or turn three. So that's that's really the good thing, right? Being able to awaken on turn two 
consistently and are worst case three. So and that's and that's what Shenron's kinda like. So uh and then we've also uh so let's let's just go into the the little guys first. And so we've got uh four Chile, four uh soldier. So this is a uh green freeze army. Uh this card's great. This is like one of my favorite cards. Uh, when you play this card, draw one, and then also if you pay two, you can choose up to one green freeze army with energy cost of two or less from your deck and play it and shuffle your deck. And then one of those cards can be Limo. Um, so pretty much you, this card, uh, you get a plus one, and then when you play, or you get a plus zero when you play it, and then you get a plus one when you uh, pay two energy because um, even though you're just getting a, a guy out, it's from your deck, not your hand. So that's some advantage, and then also. Uh, when Limo comes out, he drops a card from your opponent's hand, and so that's a plus two for you, just because um, you have two, you know, two more cards comparatively um, when you start your turn. So that's really powerful. Uh, you can even get the super combo, I think, again, because it just says a uh, yeah with energy cost two or less. So if you really need that super combo, you can just Chile out it. I guess probably won't happen as much. Also, uh, Chile the Beautiful, the what, future rare from uh, Clash of Fates is also really good, especially uh, comboed with Oob because you're able to blow up one drops with it uh, and Shocking Death Ball. Um, since both of these effects can happen on your opponent's turn, uh, you can kind of double dip with this effect and just gain a lot of advantage that way. So really good uh, kind of a synergy right here. Uh, I really like this. I've been tinkering around with this engine for a while and I think, I think it f fits pretty well here. Uh, and then uh, let's go into uh, let, so kind wish is the main reason I want to make this deck. Um, I think I said that um, this card lets you summon a four drop Broly, but it's not a Broly BR, but it's not specifically a green one. It can be a yellow one, like the promo one. And so uh, let me just say so if your leader card is a green freeze army card, choose all of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier. Uh, place them at the bottom of your owner's deck in any order, and if there are no battle cards in play in your battle area, choose up to one Broly BR card with energy cost of four from your deck and play it, then shuffle your deck. Uh, this is really good, um, especially when you can play this card for free with uh, Chile and Limo. Um, you just get a whole bunch of advantage. Um, really punishes your opponent for going wide, and then you can even get your four drop Broly out. And so if you get this guy out for free, um, his, his, he's actually probably kind of bad when you came out for free because you just wiped your opponent's board but the the seven drop is the is the real money so uh for just playing two yellow energy uh if your total number of cards and rest mode between you and your opponent is six or more reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by three so it could be four specific or three specific yellow and one unspecific but also um uh, when you play this card, uh, you can activate uh, the skills on only green or yellow, and no other cards for the duration of the turn. But finally, uh, choose one card for your hand, place in the drop here, choose one of your opponent's cards in rest mode, and this card can't be switched to active mode until the end of your opponent's next turn. Um, the biggest thing that this is useful for is for uh, either their leader or their energy. Um, both can be really powerful. Um, so against, uh, like, Janimba and against the green Broly BR, you always want to choose leader just because they get no advantage anymore. Especially Broly, if they can't swing at their leader, they can't draw six, or draw up to six, so they just lose a bunch of cards that they would be drawing, and it just feels really good, um, locking that down. So there's that, and then Janimba, the same thing, they can't mill you if, as much if they can't attack, and they also don't get draw or card advantage on their side, so that feels really good. Um, and then against decks like uh, Kid Goku, where the leader swing doesn't matter as much, you can kind of lock down their energy, which uh, which feels pretty good. Um, the the like the super combo you can do, um, like so, if you lock down their energy on one turn, and then uh, on your next turn, if the seven drops sail around, you can evolve into the nine drop. So pitch a card, lock down their ener one of their energies, and then go into the nine drop and just like destroy one of their energies as well, or any any of their cards in rest mode. Uh, you just kind of just ping two of their life, so for two of your car or two two of their energy, not their life. So pretty good. Nine drops kind of a bit of a win more card to be honest. Um, you ex evolve it for two on yellow, or, or you can play it for five. But um, choose one card for your hand, place in your drop area. If your opponent has three or more energy, choose up to one of their uh, their cards in rest mode and place it in their drop area. So there's that. Um, it's also double, double strike and a big old 35k, so that's not, so, I mean, you know, it's, that's pretty substantial, um, but uh, it really is kind of a win more. So, And then also for extra cards, you've got two Crusher Ball and four Cold Bloodlust. This is definitely probably not the 
uh, final number for these extra cards, but it's been pretty good. Uh, I've been thinking about also uh, Frieza's Army, or no, sorry, Frieza's Call. Um, we've got a bunch of one drops that would be really beneficial to this, uh, like Limo or Chile. You can play it for free for one, uh, or not free, you can play it for cheap for one. And go from there there's also like nimbus would be a great card if you're wanting to be more defensive but i feel like there's been like a this this is a good enough defensive build and uh to get you to turn four so uh oh we've got also demigra because we've got you know it's a secret fourth wish in most shenron decks but uh yeah it's it's pretty good it can finish the game if you're on turn five you can play demigra uh, swing with it, uh, destroy their hand, and, you know, bait out a combo or something, or a counter or something, and then you can play, you know, you can swing with leader, and then you can use its effect to get, like, two limos out, which destroy cards in their hand, and just kind of ping them down from there, but, uh, feels really good, and, um, yeah, in general, this has been a really fun deck to play with. I think, I think the deck is, like, 90% there, uh, I think there can be some tweaks and some changes there. I haven't even thought about a side deck, but, uh, definitely, if you find yourself with four of these oobs, uh, uh, definitely very powerful. And yeah, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, once again, uh, if you want to see this uh, gameplay of this uh, deck, you can check the description below. And that'll be it for me. So thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you all next time.